All right, so we're back for another deep dive, and uh, this time we're focusing on Duff. Sounds good. Yeah, we've got like two weeks worth of his live streams, and uh, we're going to see what Duff's been up to. He's a busy guy. Yeah, he's always got something going on, and, and I got to say, one of the first things that jumped out at me, he's like totally revamped his office space. Yeah, I saw that. Triple monitors. Triple monitors, all this like crazy RGB lighting. I mean, it's like he's gone full-on gamer streamer. With his set It's a whole new Duff, right? Yeah. It, it's interesting because, you know, he's always been, I feel like, more about the substance than the style. Yeah. Function over form. Exactly. Yeah. But, uh, but maybe he's realizing that, you know, presentation matters too, especially when you're doing all these live streams. Yeah. You got to you gotta step up your game. Right. Or maybe he just got, you know, bitten by the RGB bug. Who knows? It can be contagious. But it's not just the office, right? This guy's been busy on the EUC front, too. He finally sold his B10F, remember? Your PJ, right? Yeah, the PJ. I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, he could have probably sold it for a lot more somewhere else. Oh, definitely. But he decided to keep it in the community, help out a newer rider. Mm -hmm. I think that says a lot about him. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, he seems to really care about the community. Definitely. And uh, and speaking of keeping busy, he's been modding and upgrading like crazy new pedals for his V13. Nice. Some kind of crazy 3D printed mod kit for his Gotway patent. Even showed it off on the stream. Yeah. And get this. He converted his veteran Sherman to tubeless tires. A TNT tire. Wow. That's a project. That's commitment, right? I mean, that's not for the faint of heart. No, you gotta you gotta know what you're doing. Definitely. And he's always, you know, tinkering with new tech. He's been trying out a new TPMS uh, you know, tire pressure monitoring system from Pizum. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Sounds pretty cool, although he did say it wasn't totally compatible with all his wheels. Yeah, there are always going to be some limitations with new tech, right? That's true. That's yeah. true. But, hey, you got to give him props for trying it out and, you know, giving his honest feedback. That's what I appreciate about Duff. He's always transparent, even yeah. when something's not perfect. Absolutely, and that's what makes his review so valuable. Exactly. And speaking of the EUC world, there's been a lot happening outside of Duff's garage, too. Big shakeup over at the EVS team. Remember those guys? Oh, yeah. What's going on there? Well, first, Lucas left to start his own thing. Still don't know what that is exactly. Very mysterious. And then Bradley announced he's moving to Costa Rica, taking his family, the whole shebang. Wow. Big life change. Yeah. It was actually kind of emotional, their last video together. It's easy to forget. Sometimes these are real people, you know, with lives and families and dreams. Yeah. It's not just all about the EECs all the time. Exactly. And I think it'll be interesting to see what happens with EVS now. Gabe's taking over the channel, so it'll be his vision moving forward. Yeah. New chapter. But hold on. There's even more EUC news. Remember how InMotion reached out to Duff to review their E20, that dual wheel EUC? Yeah, the one he initially turned down. Exactly, because of their like super strict review guidelines. Right, he wasn't happy about that. Well, it seems they had a change of heart. They gave him more creative freedom, and now they're even hinting at sending him an E25 to review down the line. That's interesting, a real shift from them. Yeah, and I think it shows just how influential independent reviewers like Duff have become. For sure. Companies are realizing that they can't just control the narrative anymore. And Duff's definitely not going to sh sugarcoat anything, right? He's going to give you his honest opinion, whether they like it or not. That's what people respect about him, I think. And speaking of unique rides, Shift Robotics, the company behind those Moonwalker skate shoes, you know the ones. They reached out to him for a review, too. Oh, wow. Those are crazy. I'd love to see Duff on those. Right. I mean, talk about cutting edge. I'm curious to see what he thinks of them. They're kind of pushing the boundaries of what an EUC even is, you know? <laughs> it's a whole new category. Yeah, and Duff's the perfect guy to test them out. He's not afraid to try new things, and he's got that knack for, you know, cutting through the hype and getting to the heart of what matters. Yeah, absolutely. He doesn't just tell you what a product is. He helps you understand why it matters. And, you know, one thing that really struck me in these recent streams, he's been going beyond just EUC talk. Oh, yeah. Like what? Well, he got pretty candid about social media filters and, like, the pressure to present this perfect image online. Yeah, that's such a big issue these days, especially for younger people. Right. And he even did this whole demo during the stream, put on a beauty filter, which was pretty funny. But also kind of made you think, you know, like, how much of what we see online is actually real? It's all so curated now. Exactly. And... That whole conversation about authenticity, it, it kind of ties into another big theme that emerged, which is Duff got pretty personal this time. Oh, in what way? 
Well, he opened up about his recent breakup and, you know, how he's feeling about being single, especially with the holidays coming up. That's pretty brave of him to share that publicly. It was. And, you know, it wasn't all doom and gloom. He also talked about how he's finding support from his viewers, how they've become like a community for him. It's amazing how these online spaces can create real connections like that. I know. It's pretty cool. And it just shows that Duff's not afraid to be vulnerable, you know? Yeah. He's a real person, just like the rest of us, dealing with real life stuff. Absolutely. And I think people appreciate that honesty. Yeah, it makes him relatable. And it reminds us that, you know, even those who seem to have it all together, they're still going through their own yeah. stuff. We're all in this together. Exactly. And sometimes you just need a place to talk about it. Yeah, and sometimes the most unexpected places become sources of support. It's true. And you know what? I think that's a perfect segue into the next part of our deep dive because things got even more unexpected when Duff's stream took a sharp turn into the world of politics. Oh, really? Now that I got to hear. Yeah, he got into some pretty interesting conversations about the upcoming election and the state of American politics today. So if you're ready to dive into that, stick around for part two. I'm all ears. Let's do it. I gotta say, I'm surprised you went there. Yeah, it was kind of out of left field, right? Like, one yeah. minute he's talking about tire pressure, and the next thing you know, we're diving into the Electoral College. Well, I guess everyone's got opinions, right? Oh, for sure. And Duff's definitely not shy about sharing his... He's talking about, you know, the influence of money and politics, all those super picks and lobbyists. Yeah, it's hard to deny that's a huge factor these days. And then he got into the whole debate about the Electoral College versus a popular vote system. Mm -hmm. You know, should the candidate with the most votes always win. That's a tough one. There are definitely arguments on both sides. And, you know, it wasn't just him talking. The chat was going crazy. People were chiming in with their own opinions. It's interesting how these live streams can turn into these, like, mini public forums. Yeah. It's kind of oh. cool. You get to see all these different perspectives. Yeah. And you could tell Duff was really thinking about it all. You know, he wasn't just ranting or anything. He was mm -hmm. genuinely trying to process it all. I think a lot of people feel that way right now, kind of disillusioned with the whole system. Yeah, he even talked about how, like, social media and the news, it's all so biased and it's hard to know what to believe anymore. Well, that's the thing, right? You got to be critical. You got to do your own research and try to filter out the noise. Exactly. And I think that's one of the things that makes these conversations so important. It forces you to think for yourself. To challenge your own assumptions and listen to other viewpoints, even if you don't agree with them. Right. And, you know, it's not about being right or wrong. It's about understanding where other people are coming from. It's about having those difficult conversations and hopefully finding some common ground. Yeah. And even if you don't find common ground, at least you're having the conversation, right? You're engaging with the issues. Absolutely. Because if we just stay in our own little echo chambers, nothing's going to change. It's true. So, yeah, Duff's little political detour, it was definitely unexpected. Yeah, definitely not your typical EUC content. But I got to say, it was pretty refreshing. It showed another side of him, you know, and it sparked some really interesting discussions. Yeah, it's a good reminder that there's more to life than just our hobbies and interests. We're all citizens. We're all part of this bigger world, and it's important to engage with it. Absolutely. And, you know, it's interesting how... Duff's whole journey, it's kind of reflecting these bigger societal trends we're seeing, right? The technology, the search for connection, the political divide, it's all there. It's like his live streams are this little microcosm of the human experience. I like that, a microcosm. Yeah, it's a blend of the everyday and the extraordinary, the personal and the political. And that's what makes it so fascinating to watch, right? You never know what you're going to get. And I think that's what keeps people coming back, the authenticity, the vulnerability, the realness. You can't fake that. Nope. And, you know, it makes you realize that even though we're all different, we're all going through similar things. We're all just trying to figure it out one day at a time. Exactly. And sometimes it helps to have someone like Duff to kind of guide us along the way. To share his experiences, his struggles, his triumphs. And to remind us that it's okay to not have all the answers. Yeah, and it's okay to ask for help when you need it. It's all part of the journey. And you know what? I think that's a perfect place to pause for now. We've covered a lot of ground. From Duff's new office setup to his political awakening. And everything in between. Exactly. So if you're ready for the final leg of this deep dive, join us for part three, where we'll wrap it all up and leave you with some final thoughts. Stay tuned. You know, it's funny. We started out talking about triple monitors and tubeless tires. Right. All the tech stuff. And now we're, like, reflecting on the meaning of life. It's the Duff effect, I guess. He's got a way of doing that, right? Taking you on these unexpected journeys. He starts with the EUCs and then 
bam, he hits you with the big questions. Like he's not just a reviewer, he's a philosopher. A philosopher on wheels. I like that. And you know what? I think it's that willingness to be open and honest. Yeah. That's what really sets him apart. Absolutely. He's not afraid to show his true self, even the messy parts. And that makes him so much more relatable. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, this guy's going through the same stuff I am. We all are. And it creates this sense of community, like we're all in this together. It's like a virtual support group, but for EUC enthusiasts. And political commentators. And heartbreakers. That's the beauty of it, right? You never know what's going to come up. It keeps you on your toes. It makes you think. It makes you feel. And most importantly, it makes you connect. With Duff, with the community, with yourself. That's deep, man. Well, we are doing a deep dive. Right? That's true. That's true. So I guess the big question is, what's next for Duff? Who knows? Maybe he'll finally master those moonwalkers, become the EUC moonwalking king. I can see it now. The YouTube videos would be epic. Or maybe he'll take his political musings to the next level, run for office. Duff for president. Yeah. I'd vote for him. Or maybe, just maybe, he'll find love again. Oh, that'd be nice. A little EUC romance. The possibilities are endless. As always with Duff. Well, whatever he does, we'll be here to watch and analyze and dissect it all. Breaking it down for the EUC masses. That's what we do, right? It's our calling. So, until next time, keep those wheels rolling, those minds open, and those hearts full. And keep on diving deep. That's a wrap, folks. Thanks for joining us for...